That was a great meal. <laughs> yeah. Enough. How long is this field study? Oh, it's not even required. Just a monster out in the north field. Okay. How did they not hear the explosions or bombings? I know that they're a good distance away, but bombs are still pretty fucking loud. There come airships. Third Armored Division military airships, Cavalier and Glare. But there's a third one, what's the third one? Republic Army 8th Division, Regiment Alvarez. They're not attacking each other, looks like they're surveying the damage. Two, only two deaths. Well, shit is hitting the fan. Can't go to the north. Come later. Let's get to the Xander Gate.
So is it gonna make me? Yep. Okay. Let's try to avoid any unnecessary battles and just focus on yeah. rushing there. If I get into a fight, so be it. I'll cut it in editing, but I've got more important things to worry about than monsters. Like a militarized attack. That's one of the Imperial Army's airships. This situation is looking worse by the minute. We need to hurry. Well, yeah, the Imperial Army would have airships out. One of their... Their fucking watchtower was bombed! Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army! Damn, this isn't looking good. Ten o'clock. I mean, that's kind of necessary. They were just attacked. And they saw that someone attacked them, too. They're wanting, they want to know what the fuck happened. They didn't make an attack, and they haven't retaliated. Yeah, so this isn't sabotage. Yeah. Ah, damn, my foot's itching. Damn. Yeah. Till twelve thirty. Okay, so where am I going? Thank you. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all, and more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, 
But that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the- I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, the vast mountain peaks, the clear blue of the sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. Wow. I guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be it honest, is. I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains, and the Imperial Army responded in kind with their watchtower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. This is why monarchies are a bad thing. Petty arguments can lead to civil war! Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now, that there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. That one day, it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. I can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's Military Academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation, and before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was, green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Elisa? Well, just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed, I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop war from breaking out. No, it may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks, all of you. Really. Yeah. 
So am I gonna get the run of this building? Yes, and I'm gonna have to question people. It's a shell. Because if they are, because of the empire, get on up with this. Because if that's the company that gave them the best deal on weaponry, then that's the one they're gonna go with. Zets, you're alive. Yeah, it's not looking good. No, it couldn't be those the quarry. That's the quarries in the north. Both bases were attacked. Three in the morning. that was used.
Trigonometry! It couldn't be the quarry. The quarry's to the north. Stone Circle. It was the Stone Circle. It has to be that Stone Circle. There is so much emphasis put on it. That's the most logical solution. I want the treasure chest that's over here. to the south. And it's an... Wait, what? You're a good shot, Elisa. Come on. It's got my higher bow. It doesn't have a bow string. That girl's a mage. Emma is a mage. I feel like I'm going to end up going to the quarry, though. Yep. Artillery. terrorist group involved. Get down off the- Get off- Get down the ladder, you little fuck! It's that... thing. 
And it's that girl. <coughs> it wants to. We can't let them get away! Right. We need to overtake them. Crap! They're fast! Just don't lose sight of them. Turbo mode ain't gonna help me here. Went around the curve. Did they touch down near the stone circle? Uh, there's no escape for them now. A bit that like the thing, everything. It looks a bit like that thing we've been fighting in our practical exams. Now, what to do? It'd be easy enough to overpower them, but there's a good chance some of them would get away. But just killing them all seems really cruel, too. Halt! Stay where you are! Ooh, it's the military academy students! She knows about us? How? Just who are you? And what's that thing beside you? Something Mark. So, who are you? Were you involved with the attacks on the Watchtower and the Republican Army's base? We'd rather not accuse you of a crime you didn't commit. But can you at least tell us who you are and what you're doing here? Things a bit sticky. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. Everything will go hunky dory if you guys help me out. Who are you? What, what are you talking about? But first, I hope you won't mind if I give you a little test, just to be sure you're up to the challenge. I gotta fight you. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Milliam. Hi, Milliam. Milliam Orion. And this is Eric Etlam, but you can just call him Lammy for short. Lammy, okay. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Go. This is my secret weapon. Charging all the energy. All right, let's do this. I need some bars. Well. All right. <laughs> You're in the shoe. Crystal Saber. All right. That is a risky move. I like it. Calamity! Huh? 
You get two attacks now? Oh, it's that fucking drone! My turn! I can do this! Let's go! My turn! You have a lot of help. You would miss, wouldn't you? Huh? Uh -uh. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lammy, barrier. <laughs> Thanks. Go. Increased defense. There Guard. Well. Okay. That gives me a chance to heal. Guard only works once, that's interesting. Go! Why do you keep missing? Lemmy! Barrier! Okay, now you're just going on the defensive, so. Get rid of the guard. I'll handle this. Here we go! It's my turn. Now! There! She's going easy on us, I'm noticing. It's my turn. Hang in there. Thanks. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, great. Grant me your strength. Ah! I guess I let my guard down. Together, we're unbeatable. Literally. <laughs> I'm, I'm not apologizing. Wow! You guys are pretty tough. Yep, looks like you'll be great for the job, all right. We've had quite enough of your wild chases and your games. You were the one who attacked both of those military facilities, weren't you? Oh, no, 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 that wasn't me! Did you see who it uh, was? What can I say to make you believe me? Tell us who it was. Just tell us what you can. Anything you know that might help us find out who was actually responsible. You said you wanted our help? If helping you would restore peace to the Highlands, we're ready to help out however we can. But you have to talk to us. Help us understand what's happening. Come on, you two! I hope you don't come to regret your naivete. Uh, you said your name was Milliam, right? We really don't have much time. So could you tell us what it is you want our help with? Hmm... the small armed group responsible for attacking the watchtower and the Republican army's base. You know, you could have opened with that. <sighs> what did you just say? You saw those mortars earlier, right? There's a bunch more hidden near the Republican army's base. I'm guessing it was the same group that set them up at both locations. W wait. Do you have any idea who this armed group might be? Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure or anything, but they look like a bunch of Jaeger dropouts, so I'm guessing they're working for a pretty meaty chunk of Mira. I was on my way to go find out for sure. Mercenaries. Wait, then you know where they are? Sure do. They're up in the north of the Highlands. The quarry. If you promise to help me out, I'd be happy to show you the way. 
So, how about it? All right, you have our aid. I'm Reen Schwarzer, Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Gaia Schwarzel. I'm Elisa Reinford. It's, um, nice to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yusus Alborea. And just so you know, you still have much to answer for regarding your intrusion into Arox Fort. <laughs> you knew that was us, huh? Do you know anybody else with blue hair who has a pet silver robot? It'd be super cool if we could just, you know, put that whole thing behind us for the time being. If we must. Now, now. <laughs> nice to meet you all, too. Anyway, what are we just hanging around here for? Let's make for the north of the Highlands. All right, but I'd like to swing by the settlement first. Yeah, we should use your telephone to report back to Zendergate about everything we found out so far. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be riding on the back of your... thing? Mmm, well I could... But I think I'm gonna ride on the back of your horse instead. Wait, what? Lammy! Whoa! It vanished! And the way it did so seems familiar somehow. Yeah, it looks like there's things you fight during the practical exams. Let's go catch us some big bad wannabe Jaegers! Okay. She's carrying an Arcus unit capable of performing arts and combat links with party members. Okay, okay. Hold on just a you're actually a party member. Let's put you in place of Elisa. And you're very high leveled to boot. Let's get back to the settlement and I'm gonna... Well, you know what? Let's see you in combat real quick. Let's get this over with. You have an S-Craft. I think I want to I'll save her S-Craft. Alright. There! My turn! Okay. Interesting. Oh! Very well. Okay. It's my turn. There. My turn. My turn. Interesting. I'll handle this. Leave it to me. My turn! My turn! What a waste of time. Let's go. Reen and Emma leveled up? I did it! Making progress! Okay, so Reen got a full heal. But... Yusis is on the brink of death, so... Okay, let's get to the settlement. Woohoo! This is amazing! If you keep squirming around back there, you're gonna fall off. Wild child, it seems. Who the hell is this girl? I have to go all the fucking way around this tower. I'm gonna try to... Oh, okay, that's convenient. Is 
that. That's an airship. She looks like a Jaeger. Or a Bracer, maybe. Fifteen hundred, three o'clock. Yep, it's the quarry, but I'm going to have to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I head into the northern highlands and investigate the old quarry. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.